that Jesus is the begotten Son of God, he says so. You see, he rectifies your mistakes and he tells you, as, as, a, as our brother pointed out, that it is a check on what you, the Christians and the Jews are teaching. So this is what, this is the book of God. It is confirming what is with you, what is true. If you say that God is one, it confirms. Baby, you can call me a superman. Chuchu, tell, 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 10 days or even two days and we really once you get to subscribe and keep on subscribing so far so good we have 8300 subscribers and the idea of the channel is just to do a lot of reaction videos educate you people you also educate us and stuff like that try to do reaction but reaction of your choice not of our choice of your choice just to make you happy and feel entertained and yeah and if you feel happy you feel contented just make sure to give us a thumbs up and also make sure to uh, click on the post notification button if you want to be the first person to watch our videos whenever we post them so right about now we're going to react to uh this video right here and it was suggested by a lot of people as usual and they suggested that we should go react to ahmed the Dutch. and i think the title here is in arabic but I, we might need to translate it and it say that uh, you don't, I mean, did that you don't lie to this man or something like that. But let us know what it says on the comment section below if you're wrong. The actual title, yeah, the actual title. So, um, without any further ado, guys, let's get it. In fact, I have two questions to ask Mr. Dida. Number one, Mr. Dida, is that you did mention that the Quran is the only book that is undoubted and unchanged. Now, as a Christian, I believe that that's not the case, but I want you to prove me wrong. Uh, since Muslims or Islam refutes some of the basic doctrines of Christianity, which also means that basically it rejects what the Bible teaches, present-day Bible. I would like to ask this question, however. If then, what you're saying between the lines is true that the Bible has been changed, I would like to know when and where. And also, I would like also to make mention of this fact that Mr. Muller mentioned it and quoted from the Quran that the Quran is sent to confirm that which came before it, but note, it says also to save God, those scriptures that came before it. Now, if then the Quran is there to save, to confirm and save God, the Bible, or the Christian and Jewish scripture that came before it, if the Bible has been changed, it means that the Quran has failed in its duty to save God from those scriptures. You see, the Holy Quran confirms that Jesus is the Christ. <clears throat> Something worth confirming because the Jews, they insinuated that Jesus Christ, because he had no earthly father, he was the illegitimate child of Mary. So either the Muslim must accept that or accept what the Christian said that his father is God. So the Quran comes to rectify the misconception that the Christian has that because he has no earthly father, his father is God. So it says, Ya Halal Kitab, O people of the book, La Tahlu Fi Dinakum. Do not go to extremes in your religion. Don't go to extremes, you Jews and Christians. You Jews are going to one extreme and the Christians are going to another extreme. Don't go to extremes. Wala taqulu alallah illal haq. And don't say anything about God except the truth. And what the truth is? Innamal Masih, most certainly the Messiah. Isa ibn Maryama, 
Jesus the son of Mary, Rasulullah is the messenger of God. So it confirms. It rectifies you wherever you made false, wherever you made your interpolations, your trinity is a fabrication, it says so. That Jesus is the begotten son of God, it says so. You see, it rectifies your mistakes and it tells you, as, as, a, as our brother pointed out, that it is a check on what you, the Christians and the Jews are teaching. So this is what, this is the book of God. It is confirming what is with you, what is true. If you say that God is one, it confirms. If you say adultery is evil, it confirms. That stealing is bad, it confirms. Taking of life, killing people is bad, it confirms. So whatever is right, it confirms. And then wherever you have made mistakes, it corrects you. And then it replaces with the right answer. I am talking about the, those things which the Quran disagrees as far as the Bible is concerned, which ultimately means that the Muslim disagree with the Bible as well. Now, now, excuse me, excuse me. Now that means if it is alleged that the Quran, or at the confirmation, you have to some length explain. But if the Quran is there to safeguard the Bible, then such discrepancies should not be found. talking about because there are dozens and dozens of Bibles different different versions which one are you talking about you see the Roman Catholics they have what is called the Douay version of the Bible you know about that right and that Bible has 73 books 73 books now must I accept that one or accept yours yours has got 66 you are a Protestant I take it you are a protestant i take it please unless you are a roman catholic are you a roman catholic i know why i know why because now you see this is the trick that the christian plays on you when you want to know where do you belong are you fish or fowl and the man won't tell you <laughs> see because as soon as you say as soon as you say that you belong to a certain denomination, I say your denomination was a partner in this Bible, which went on to say that the King James Version has great defects. If you say that you belong to a certain church, I say, look, that church of yours backed this Bible up, which threw out the ascension of Jesus, thrown out, Trinity thrown out, begotten son thrown out. Can you see? So I said, your church was involved. So the easy way out is, I don't own up where I belong. I don't want to say what church I belong to. So it's an easy way out. So you can take any impossible stand and the man can say nothing to you. Uh, please, give somebody else a chance. Next question. And if you can ask another question. I would just like to say something as I see. Okay, uh, it, is, it is such that both Muslim and Christian believe that God is a just God. What? Right? That God is a just God. What does that have to do with God? Right? Both Muslims and Christians believe the fact that God is a God of love. Does God atone for sins man like him?
Christianity where Jesus died and fulfilled the just requirements of God in punishing sin and also where God could say to the Christian, I can forgive you because Jesus Christ died. How in Islam, how in Islam is there no And there was no crucifixion. Number two, that he was not God. Number three, that God did not kill an innocent man for your sins. Because this is the most unjust thing to do. Can you imagine you go and commit all the crimes in the world and we catch the most innocent man that we can find and hang him? You think God Almighty is such, is such a person, is a, such a being that for Adam's sin, Adam and Eve, they ate the fruit and now he's going to put everybody into hell. And he's going to take his own son, an innocent child, who had done no wrong, and have him hanged. And his poor man doesn't want to die. He's crying, sweating blood. And you know, never mind, hook or by crook, get him hanged. Is that God? Is that a loving God? You are a loving father to your child, I take it, if you have any children. And for somebody coming on committing a crime in your house, you going to kill your child for somebody else's crime? <laughs> Is that what you do? Because you love this criminal so much, all these sinners. Next man. Next man. <laughs> wow, what do you think? The first point I got from this is I like the fact that he said people shouldn't go to extremes when it comes to religion. Mm, Did yeah, you get that point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the best way someone can can take in information. Because some people just take it too far. Yeah, they, they, they go just in. take it too, too far. If you're Christian, you can't hang around with people that are not Christian. Yeah. If you're Muslim, you whatever assumptions are out there. While he was talking, from the last point he made, I was thinking to myself, he brought up the story of, what did he say? Jesus. I don't know what story he brought about, but then I was thinking to myself, so God created Adam. Mm -hmm. Was there an Eve in the beginning? Was there Eve in the beginning? Yeah. God created Adam and then he felt like uh, Adam needs a companion. That's when Eve was created. No, no, no. In Islam. In Islam? I should think so. I should think so. I'm did, seeing, did I do the other reaction with you? Which one? The creation of Adam? No. Huh. This part two, yeah? Yeah, then should... I don't know, I'm not sure. I just think I just did the first part in you. I think, uh, like in the Bible, with, with this Genesis, it talks about Adam and Eve. I think it's, it goes hand in hand with the Quran, I should think so. I've started reading the Quran, but I've not reached that, that part already. But I feel probably it's just the same thing. But let us know in the comment section, what do you think? Is, oh, there, no. is there Adam and Eve in the Bible, in the in the Quran or something like that? And anyway, what do you think of forgotten point? Uh, about the extremes, that's really, really important. I mean, there are people out there who go to the extreme, like, so bad. To an extent of saying that I cannot hang out with you because you are from this, uh, you are from this generation, you are from this uh, religion. Generation? Yeah, generation, religion and whatnot, you know. What does generation mean? I mean, generation means like if I'm born, uh, maybe, maybe 1990. I, I don't, I don't want to hang out with the millennials. If I'm from that old, you get it. I'm just giving stating examples. 90s. No, no, millennials from 80s or something. 89. Yeah, no, from 80 something. No. Me, no. Okay. Anyway. Uh. Like people do, people go to an extreme, to, uh, an extreme that they don't want to hang out with people just because of their personal reasons, be it religion, be it uh, education, all these things that are out there. You get to disturb you when it comes to Christianity, domination also separates. Yeah, exactly. In Christianity, there's so much segregation. Segregation, because there's domin uh, domination, which there is a pro Protestant, there's Catholic. This Anglican, this what, what. So you find that these people, they don't want to hang out with Protestants because they're like, no, you people probably think too much over there. 
people down too much. Then there's um, those ones that knock on your door. Yeah, and then there's uh, the, what do you call this? Um, the, the, the Jehovah Witness. The ones who knock at your door, like, by force. You have to. <laughs> by force. You have to. And you have to accept God. If you don't... <laughs> you know, people actually hide and pretend they're not home. Yeah, I mean, so all these things. And, okay, when you go to Islam, the same thing. that There are some people who go to the extreme that they don't want to hang out with Christians because, no, I don't know you people are evil or probably you people are what not. You get it? That's so bad. We shouldn't be in the position of trying to judge and trying not to. Even it goes to an accent that I cannot marry a Christian because of this and that. Christian cannot marry Muslims because of their religion purposes. Yeah. I, I you think that's bad? It's not bad, but why? But why? But why what? But why? Who but came, who, who came up with this? Don't you think there's some sort of confusion? Like? You know how we have conversations sometimes? So, you're Muslim or you're, you've turned to Islam mm -hmm. and I'm Christian or having a conversation mm -hmm. don't you think it can get so heated up? Yeah, it's true. So according to Islam, if you want to get to a Christian, if you want to get to marry to a Christian, a Christian has to convert to, uh, to Islam. According to Islam? Yeah, I think so. According, I don't know. Just correct me. Or they can correct also me. Convert. convert to Christian. Mm. They can, it depends and on their choice. There are people that convert for the sake of their partner. Yeah, I mean, there are choices. If you want to convert to Islam, fine. If you want to convert into Christianity. But I had, there was a friend of mine who married uh, an Islam, but he had to convert. The, 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 was it the, a woman that had to convert? No. It was a man? Yeah, a man converted to Islam. Which, huh. the family of the lady, they were like, uh, I mean, he has to convert. You understand so it happened that way but anyway that's the story for another day i always think islam respects men so much that they have to follow the man yeah i mean that's what i just think. yeah but uh if if you know but if a lady is islam you have to but i think it's your choice i don't know just let us in the conversation how does it go i thought it's only tough when you're marrying a man that's Something. Yeah. So anyway, let's not go to an extreme. I mean, let's just try and be people who look at things in a both perspective. I mean, in a very uh, crucial manner. Because if you go to an extreme, then you create a lot of hatred and you start hating each other. At the end of the day, you start fighting. And what's going to happen? We're going to kill each other. We're going to set boundaries at each other, which is bad. And towards the last statement you mentioned about uh, Jesus Christ, the crucifixion and all those kind of uh, things and whatnot. I mean, if you sit down and think about it, according to Islam, they believe that Jesus wasn't crucified. The Christians believe that Jesus was crucified. But why would God give out his innocent child to the world? And he gave out a very good example. Imagine your mother and the burglars probably get into them. I understand all that, but then I think yeah. this is what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Even if it did exist in Islam, mm -hmm. when when a child is born, Christians believe that they are born of sin. Hence, they should be. Are they born of sin? No, Christians believe that Jesus washed out their sins. Are you sure? Yeah, Islam is the one that they believe they are born of sin. So you you you're supposed to. Not believe they're born of sin, but you're supposed to. But then, either you're way, you're being you're yourself. born, and you have to suffer because of Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. This is why I'm asking, what, Islam, what do they believe? Was that in there? Do they also have to suffer because of those two people that? Yeah, that's a good point. Check? Just let us in the comment section. Uh, in Islam, do Adam and Eve is exist? Eve? Yeah, is there even Adam, Adam is, there. is there Eve in Islam or in the beginning of the of the Quran or something like that? Because in the Bible, uh, Genesis there is Adam and Eve, and or just let us know in the comment section. And does the story correlates with the Bible? Because according to the Bible, uh, there was Adam and Eve, and Eve. Because I'm thinking if you've lured out if, Adam to eat the apple and stuff, is that the same thing in the Quran? If people are suffering because of Adam and Eve. Then it's possible for Jesus to die for people's sins. Yeah, yeah. Any, anything is possible. That's anyway. according to Christianity. Yeah. But then Islam. 
Yeah. Just let us know in the comment section below what does what what the Quran says about Adam and Eve. Was there Eve in the Quran in the beginning of the Quran or something? Just let us know in the comment section below. Anyway, but guys, this video had the guy had some good questions. Yeah, this was some good questions. I really, really. The responses were quite fair. Yeah, the response was quite fair too. Very good questions. I mean. In this world we live in today, you need to question things, you need to ask questions. The person who doesn't want to ask questions, he will go into a... You, 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 I mean, you'll find yourself following somebody and uh, finding yourself in the wrong direction. I mean, it's good to ask questions. Very, very good to ask questions. Anyway guys, if you feel like we react to this video in a better way, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about this reaction right here. Sorry, what do you think? about our reaction what do you think about this video that we reacted to just let us know in the comment section below and if you have any kind of reaction videos we're gonna do it for you we want to thank the people who gave us this reaction with the realest mvp and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel then we keep on subscribing then we give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out